What's up, Internet? This is Ramblin' Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Soul Blazer. Today, uh, let's once again take a look around town, see what's new since the last time we were here. That's a little bit of a hint for uh, something we're going to be doing in just a moment. Uh, most of the stuff that we released in Blester is actually completely useless, truth be told. Uh, the most important thing, though, is if... Well, hold on. If we talk to this dolphin, we can see it is asleep. So, let's put on our dream rod. And this will suck us into his dreams. Now, this dream works a little bit differently from some other ones. Usually talking to the to uh, the resident of the dream is what causes you to leave the dream. But in this place you have to exit through the that little uh, cave entrance or whatever to get out of here. Shiny and black. Oh, maybe I lied? Whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, the treasure that this dolphin is looking for is this uh, pearl, which I don't know how that pearl is black, but whatever. This is the coral reef? Um, okay, well, whatever. The point is, now that area is open, and I don't care what the dolphin has to say anymore. And that's the only important thing to, that we have to do after Blester. I might as well talk to you. That is a pretty good jump. Anything else in here? Negative. Let's see. Gonna check out what you've got to say. Somewhere near a sunken ship. I think there's other people to talk to, but I don't really care. And talking to the fourth and final mermaid statue gets rid of another fish statue. The final fish statue! Get a quick heal. And it's time to rock on. Once we actually get back to the seabed. Okay, and like the mermaid statue said, we want to head to the northwest. After taking uh, unneeded damage, well, that doesn't make that big a deal. So how here are uh, here we have a big area of. I guess this is supposed to be the coral reef. Kill some of these stingrays. They're just uh, coming right at us. And over here, we have. I certainly wouldn't call it a secret area. It's kind of secluded, but it's not hard to notice. There we find the power bracelet, which doubles your attack power. I tend to prefer to stick with the shield bracelet just because I think it's better to take less damage since. Killing stuff is usually pretty easy, so you don't really need to make it a lot harder, or uh, easier, that is. There are some exceptions to that rule, but in general, I stick with the shield bracelet. Kill off these stingarays. Ah, huh, there's the, the dolphin that that lady was talking about. I forgot what she said his name was. Something with an S, I want to say? Not that it's important. So that is the way forward. I'm missing something. I know exactly where I'm missing it. So let's head over there. Okay, just kind of weave our way backwards through here. And we arrive where... The, the first lair 
The first monster lair opened up this area. Huh. I think this is the only place where there's uh, crabs that actually come out of this monster spawner. So, what's that do? Another angelfish. Lovely. Okay, and head north from there a little bit. And this is the area that we opened up in the that dolphin's dream. So if we head up here, we have a secret cave of sorts. Okay, and apparently I was completely wrong that that was about the crabs coming out of the monster lair. But whatever. That unlocks four treasure chests. 80 gems! Nothing! These two better be worth my time. Emblem D. Well, that's gonna come in handy. Get it? Handy? Ha ha ha! Animatical Herb. That is mostly for the Emblem D. That is, of course, one of the emblems, one of these things, where uh, if you collect all eight of them, you can obtain the power to cast spells without co it costing any gems. Which is cool. But that's not going to be for some time yet. So just wind our way back through here. How dare you get in my way. I kill you! Almost leveled up. Maybe I should try and level up. Make a point of leveling up before heading to the next area. Okay. Well, might as well do that. So we just need to kill one more pink thingamabobber. So should be easy enough to find one. Where are you? Okay, well let's just kill this thing with magic. There we go. Get a little bit of a stat boost. And of course we unlocked this little tile here. Gee, when do un we unlock the uh, the secret... Why didn't I do that before? Just head in there and then head back out. I forgot that respawn the monsters. Anyways, this this is the boss area. So this is the ghost ship. There's these little torches that shoot stuff at you, but you can kill them, but it doesn't give you an experience or anything. So it's better, I think, to just ignore those things. These little fish things will like pop out of the ground, and you got to be kind of careful about them. The little bits of the deck that they spew out will do damage to you. This chest has one gem, which is totally extra super worthwhile. Kill off fishy. Head down through here. And up through here. Just head straight up there. And I want to equip the power bracelet. And here we have the ghost head. The, the trick to this guy is basically just sitting right here. Okay, well, maybe a little bit to the side. Right here, and just swing in your sword. If you just stand here, the head can't hit you. These hands will die before they have a chance to actually reach you. And it's all good. Normally I would try and do it a little bit more legit, but the... The skeleton head is a pretty tricky boss. Like it's really actually quite hard if you uh, if you don't cheese it like that. So I don't feel too bad about doing it. The power bracelet just lets you kill the little hands before they actually get a chance to reach you, so you don't have to actually move around to deal with them. And since you're not taking any damage, the, it also lets you just kill the boss faster. 
And yeah, so we released the Queen of the Mermaids. So now we just gotta make our way back through here. Nothing, no like ghostly torches or uh, fish popping out of the floor to deal with this time around. So just head straight back. Let's see what Queenie's got to say. Don't care about no angel fish. Sup. Oh. Indeed I am. Well, that's not good. The creatures disappeared and the monsters took over, huh? I'm pretty sure it's more because King Madgrid sold the souls of the entire kingdom to Death Toll. That's a big ass kingdom, it's like the entire world. Anyways, we get the Blue Stone. And with that, we can head back to our little home base here. You can help me by sending me to the next area. This area being Soul of Mountain House. I think it's just called Soul Mountain or something. This is kind of an odd area, honestly. I, I tend to think feel like it's a very easily forgettable area. None of the characters in this place really kind of stick out in my mind at all. But anyways, uh, we will see what exactly is up here next time on Let's Play Soul Blazer. Catch you later.